Hey guys, uh, this is a little update video. Um, I want to keep it short and simple. Uh, I just got a Bandit VXL about a week ago. A week ago yesterday. Um, and I sold my dirt tracks to my brother because I was getting tired of it and I fried the transmission like completely. Uh, first thing I did when I got it was this wheelie bar. Had to get this wheelie bar. Um, as you see, the wheels are already, you know, scratched up a little. Um, I got a stainless steel screw set yesterday, as you see. Looks good, and haven't taken it out since I got it. And I got a RPM front bumper, still haven't taken it out. I'm probably going to take it out in about five minutes here, but, you know. Um, one thing I'd change is get some, I don't know, anacondas if you're gonna run it on road get some anacondas or some tough compound tire you know street this pro line street street whatever they're called street tires um because these things wore down actually to this much in about three days it took about two to three days for this to wear down this much that's pretty bad um i'd get big bores in the rear probably front ones are fine the rear ones I've had bent shafts already I bent one and the other ones mildly bent um, no no this one's this one's been bent this one's mildly bent I don't know if you can see it but I can um, one thing I do about this rear body part right here is the little metal poles that are right here that hold it on get rid of them I just I just pulled them out and they came out pretty easy and just I just kind of modded it up on there, and that just sits right on there. When you flip, it just bends down a little. Doesn't even hurt it. Um, and then for the body, um, I'm in I'm in summer right now, you know, and it's really hot here, and so I had to make some vent, and I made it out of some like metal wire type mesh stuff. I don't know. I found it right. Right there's a little bit of it and I cut it out cut the body out and I cut that piece out and I glued it on and I've been getting better airflow and that's a good thing um, the motor gets really hot so you're probably gonna need a heat sink too uh, I'd go check out that one guy uh, dark ecliptic hard or something I don't know how to say it I think that's how you say it um, he shows all kinds of mods for these cars and how to do it. And I've got a heat sink right here. See, it came off my old Exceed from a couple years ago and sold that. Um, I'm just going to have to cut it. I don't know how. Um, go check out that guy's videos. Uh, I'll probably have a link in the description. Um, the stock 7-cell battery is really good. I compared it to two cell lipos. I was running a two cell lipo. That was the first thing I ran in it. And uh, then I ran the seven cell, and the seven cell was actually no difference. Um, but that's about it, guys. Uh, yeah, that's all for my update video. See you guys.